I have to say, it is nice to finally get to work out with you guys. You know, I, I just always work such crazy hours, you know, and I, I do really enjoy the camaraderie. What the hell is that? It's what? On your thingy. You freak! Oh, 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 you haven't seen Ewan, the uncut version. <laughs> ah, yes, very good. Ha, ha, yes, I am uncircumcised. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry for staring, but uh, it scares me. Hey, look, guys, look, it, this, this is natural. This is the way God intended, and I don't believe God makes mistakes. How about that creepy little guy in the Backstreet Boys? Hey, Ewan, how they hanging? Hey, Jay, hey. You, you know my guys. Uh, right. What's up, Big Jay? Boss Jay? How's it going? Hey, I'm naked, everything is fine. <laughs> Say, Ewan, I didn't realize it was Casual Friday. I beg your pardon? Well, I see you're wearing your turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's good. Um, can I just say something? If we were in a European locker room, I would be in the majority. <laughs> Seriously, Ewan, you, you should have that taken care of. I mean, you're a very attractive man, but that penis is a disaster. <laughs> well, what would you have me do, Jay? Get circumcised. What? No way! Hey, hey! I am your boss, okay? Go see your urologist. I'm 25 years old. I don't have a urologist. Ah, come on, come Jay, on. I wouldn't even know where to find a urologist. I'm a urologist. <laughs> but, uh, seriously, I am a urologist. Barry Wasserman, that's my uh, luxury sedan parked out front with the license plate PP Doc. I saw that. Sweet ride. Yes, it is. I call it the penis mobile. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, that is what I call it. <laughs> anyway, I, I specialize in pediatric uh, urology. Ooh. Hey, that'll be perfect for you, little fella. <laughs> Don't you listen to him. You are perfectly normal. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you, doctor. Except for the anteater. <laughs> Seriously, though, it's, it's very, very unpleasant. They say I gotta be a man. And I'm halfway there, halfway there. They say I'm having too much fun. But I don't care, I don't care. This is the time. It's going fast. How much is too much? Or not enough? There's so much stuff. I don't know. I wish that I could freeze time, but I don't have a time freeze machine. Hey! Oh, hey, Liz. Hey, Jordan. What's up with you? Oh, nothing, nothing. I was just thinking about my penis. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, great. Now your penis is going to be stuck in my head all night. Right, right. No, uh, no, you see, the thing is, I, um, the boys were teasing me today at the gym because I sport the natural look. Do women have an opinion on this? Uh, it's not that big a deal. Besides, you do fine with the women. I mean, obviously, there are some who don't mind that much. <laughs> yeah, some chicks are into weird crap. <laughs> Thank you both very much. I, I feel much better. <laughs> well, uh, you look great, Liz. Where are you off to? Oh, thanks. Mike and I are having a business dinner with my boss in status quo. He might perform at our rainforest fundraiser next week. Oh, wow. That's great. Hey, yeah. you should see this urologist in the medical group I work for, Dr. Barry Wasserman. <laughs> he is so funny. He calls his house Casa de Pee Pee. <laughs> <laughs> A swell again, good evening to you all. Uh, this is my current shorty, Tanya. Oh, how do you do? Hi, we're just waiting for Mike. Mike, come on, we don't want to be late. Just a minute. Liz, listen, uh, I've been working on a new rap, decrying global deforestation and the loss of species that could lead to important scientific breakthroughs. Ooh, fantastic. It's called Sloppy Booty Love. Ewan's uncircumcised, isn't that gross? <laughs> Well, it's certainly gross to talk about it. Jordan, it's a sensitive subject. 
I don't really know you, but speaking as a woman, it's no big deal to me. Oh. Really? Sure. As long as I don't have to touch it. <laughs> you and relax. Women like you for you. Only the most shallow women are gonna get bent out of shape by appearance. You are not coming to this dinner dressed like that. Why? Because you look like that little creepy guy from the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Come on, Mike, we're going to the Russian Tea Room. That's a fancy restaurant. Well, the shoes are fancy. See the way they light up when I walk? <laughs> could, could you at least put on a blazer? Okay, all right, baby, I'm sorry. You know, Mike, Liz always looks so nice for you, and you don't even try. Hey, whip it out. I want to see it. Gladys, I really got to thank you again. See, I want to look sharp for this fundraiser. I don't want to embarrass Liz again, you know? You thought about cutting off your face? <laughs> Wait, that came out mean. Gentlemen, I've been crunching the numbers and they don't look promising. There's a grassroots movement against my foreskin. A solid 35% of the women I've slept with lately referred to little Ewan as off-putting. What's the matter? They don't like Snuffleupagus? Listen, you should just go see my urologist, Dr. Wasserman. That man is a panic. Does everybody know this guy? And find him amusing? I got his number from P. Diddy. Apparently P. had some work done on his Diddy. Did he? He did. Uh, just tell him to pack it in ice and stop playing with it. <laughs> Mr. Pierce. Oh. Good morning. Dr. Wasserman, please uh, call me Ewan. Oh, reading about Mel Gibson, I see. Mm -hmm. He's circumcised. <laughs> really? Just says here that it rained a lot during the filming of Braveheart. Well, we didn't uh, come here to talk about famous penises, now, did we? <laughs> now, why don't you uh, lift the gown and let old Dr. Wasserman uh, poke around? <laughs> All right. I just thought I was supposed to do that. No. No. You seem a little nervous, and you shouldn't be. Why don't you just relax while uh, I go and get an instrument? Ah, here we are. Oh. You see, you and uh, I use humor uh, to help diffuse the awkwardness of one man examining another man's. Uh, Penis. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a good bit. Yeah, I, I feel a lot more relaxed now. <laughs> you know, in uh, medical school, they said once you've examined a couple hundred sets of uh, genitals, it would get less awkward, and, and, uh, and they were wrong. <laughs> now, why don't you uh, lie flat, put the knees up. Okay. I'm going to examine your testicles for uh, any abnormality, so... Uh, you might feel a little discomfort. Oh, I'm way ahead of you, Doc. <laughs> and and uh, this is where the uh, humor comes in. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> Evidently, uh, a lion and a zebra were uh, making a whoopee. Uh, in Africa, this is. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, in the middle of their relations, the lion says to the zebra, Uh-oh, here comes my wife. Uh, act like I'm killing you. <laughs> Is that not a rib tickler? <laughs> They're not my ribs, you're tickling. <laughs> well, it's, it's thumbs up on the testicles, uh, so to speak. Uh, well, you have no balanopistitis, you have no phimosis. Uh, however, I can, I can now make a clear diagnosis of your condition. Oh, really? What's that? Weird wieneritis. <laughs> but uh, seriously, Ewan, it's, uh, it's a, a frequent reason for adult circumcision. Uh, let me ask you, have you given any thought to uh, the kind of cut you would like? Well, uh, well, no. 
Would you like to pick one out from the big book of penises? Uh, well, I suppose... Joking! Oh! <laughs> okay. Joking! <laughs> All right. Uh, there is no big book no of penises. Book. I mean, maybe there is one, but I certainly don't have it. Uh, once again, I was using humor to help uh, put you at your ease. Right, OK. Well, mission accomplished, Doc. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I guess I'll, I'll go for the usual, you know? Uh, you know, perhaps something sporty. You know, bring out the blue in my eyes. I don't follow. I was using humor. In what sense? <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. Hi, Ewan. Morning, Jordan. How's your mom? Oh, great. And your dad? How's his penis? It's terrific. The whole family just loves it. Um, guys? Oh, um, Sally just wanted me to tell you that your next appointment canceled. Ah, thank you. See you around, Ewan. OK. Ha! Sorry. Super, super kid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, here I am with some uh, free time, and uh, here you are with some uh, spare skin. <laughs> so, now? Don't put off till tomorrow, which you can cut off with a razor-sharp scalpel and a gumco clamp today. Uh, well, I really wasn't expecting, um... You know, perhaps you could just talk me through the procedure. Oh, yes, 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 of course, certainly. Um, well, quite simply, uh, in layman's terms, uh, what I'll be doing is uh, making a uh, small dorsal slit in the foreskin, whereby the foreskin will be separated from the glands, uh, at which point uh, the bell portion of this gumco clamp uh, will be placed over the glands and the foreskin pulled over the bell and uh, through the plate and uh, the yolk. And then I will tighten... Dr. Wasserman? Yes, uh, hang on to this, would you? There's an emergency in exam seven. I'll be right there. Uh, you know, always an emergency when it comes to the penis. <laughs> Don't worry, little fella. I'm way ahead of you. Jokes and Jordan. It was, it was a nightmare. You don't have to tell me. My circumcision was the worst day of my life. It was the third day of your life. How could you possibly remember? Dude, I remember it all. I'm in this clear plastic crib, chilling, scoping out the lady babies. Had this sweet knit hat on, made me look like Beretta. Then this weird doctor was all choppity chop chop. And I'm all, dude, lay off the golden itch! Chow, that's insane. That's nothing. I had a really difficult birth. That was all. Hey! Who drained the pool? Oh, stop, stop! Oh my god! You are so freaking hot! I know. <laughs> hey, buddy. That is one sharp suit. Ewan, Ewan, I have entered the world of looking good and getting respect. You know that uh, weird guy outside the building with the foil hat and the one eye, ass recorders? Mm -hmm. Called me sir. <laughs> Liz is just gonna be blown away. But, you know, if you really want to impress her, you should uh, check out the services at the health club. You know, have a manicure, get your hair done, hit the tan in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hair, hands, tan, that's perfect. You know, I might start modeling. Hey, Ewan, do you know where my pe... Holy crap! <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. Charming as always. D D Mike, look at you. You're... you're beautiful. Uh, I'm just trying to look good for my lady. <laughs> you know, at that fundraiser, you're going to be with the hottest guy in the place. Because the clothes are just the beginning, my love. Oh, Mike, now you don't have to overdo it. Ah! 
You save the rainforest, <laughs> and I will save the last dance for you. <laughs> Liz, Liz, look, we, we won't dance. We'll just stand around and look pretty. Well, look at you. What? Oh, oh, this? That's yeah, just some frosted tips. You know, cost me 85 clams, but I am worth it. <laughs> <clears throat> Is it 10.30? You know, this looking good stuff wears a man out. So, uh, so listen, why don't you go hit the tan in bed for half an hour and then we'll head home? All right. Just come get me when you're done. Yeah. I'll be the uh, golden bronze one with the perfect hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. We closed in a half hour. I didn't think anyone was in here. Oh, that's all right. Come back anytime. I'll do that. Do you need a towel? Uh, no, no, fine. Thanks. I've got one. I bet it's not as nice and fresh and soft as this one. <laughs> so why don't you drop that one and come here? Dear penthouse. <laughs> I never used to believe that your letters were true, but then one night at my health club, dot, dot, dot. I just remembered I'm Jewish. <laughs> That's it. I've had it. Right. I'm cutting you off. No, not you two. You're fine. <laughs> now, that's what I call a good, clean shave. Uh, slap a little skin bracer down there, and, and we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the humor again, right? Indeed it is. Uh. Suzanne, we're ready. That's your urology assistant? She looks more like a magician's assistant. <laughs> well, we are about to make something disappear. <laughs> I set him up and you knock him down. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Suzanne. I, I can't help but feel we're skipping ahead a few steps in our relationship. Wow, charming and pantless. Devastating combination. <laughs> what are we doing today, Doctor? Well, you and here will be enjoying a moderate low circumcision. Uh, so I will prepare the anesthetic and then uh, let's peel this banana. <laughs> so, why are you having this done? Have you had problems with it? No, 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 good Lord, no. No, I, uh... I just strive for perfection. Oh. Wow. Talk about unattractive. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. That's, that's why I'm having it cut off. Okay, Ewan, now uh, you're going to feel uh, a little pinch here, uh, in the sense that uh, World War II was a little skirmish. I didn't mean your foreskin is unattractive. It's your vanity that's a turn off. Okay. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, my vanity? Oh, come on. You're handsome and charming. But obviously, your self-esteem's all wrapped up in your penis. Diving in. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. So, so you're saying that my, my narcissism is more offensive to you than my foreskin? Much more. Oh, my God, she's right. She's right. Dog, what am I doing? Oh, uh, Ewan, uh, this, this is a simple case of the jitters. Now, it's all perfectly natural. Well, perfectly... Get away from me with that thing! <laughs> You know, that's what the wife said to me last night. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My, my wife is dead. Hello? Mike. Mike, come on. I've been working for months on this fundraiser. I don't want to be late. Please. <laughs> yes? Remember how I said you were going to be with the hottest guy at the fundraiser? <laughs> yes. I'm not just hot, I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, my God! I fell asleep in a tanning bed last night. <laughs> <laughs>
stupid you and didn't wake me up. Oh, you poor thing. No, you're not seeing the part that's burnt the worst. I was naked. Oh, you poor thing. I am so sorry. I'm letting you down again. No, you're not. Mike, you tried. You figured out something that I wanted without me asking, and you did it just for me. I love you so much. Liz. Yes, darling. I have sunburn. Oh, I know. So stop hugging me! <laughs> Guys? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Mike, you, uh, you still mad at me? <laughs> no. But when this starts to peel, I'm going to collect all the shavings and put it in your food. Yeah, well, I, I deserve that. How's your, uh, how's your special little place? It's a hunk of burning love. Well, I actually might have something to help. Just one sec. Hey, come on in. I understand someone has a sunburn. Oh. <laughs> EP Doc, thank God you're here. Well. I think I have just the thing. Fire in the hole. for you.